that's the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto. She and her government have done everything imaginable to erase Imran Khan from the minds of Pakistanis, and they've gone to some grotesque lengths to achieve that. An ad for Khan's cancer hospital has been banned from the nation's TV screens. A promotion for the national airline trumpeting Pakistan's spectacular 1992 World Cup win has one stunning omission. It makes no mention at all of the captain who led them to that glorious victory. You know, we are blotted out of television. We cannot make an appearance on TV. One producer, just because he let my name go through, was suspended for four days on Lahore television because in a quiz program he let my name slip. Uh, the hospital has not been shown on Pakistan television ever since it's been made. No one, people haven't seen the hospital. The government clearly believes Imran Khan is a political threat, as much as his followers believe that he's a political hope. His denials are not helped by the fact that at rallies like this one, he talks about restoring national pride. He talks about rejecting foreign aid, and he talks about cleaning up corruption. In fact, he talks a lot like a politician. And what worries some in Pakistan is that the playing field of politics is far more treacherous than the gentleman's game he once played. Cricketers don't often become social reformers. They don't often become politicians. Is it possible that you might be naive in your thinking in relation to all of this? Uh, in doing what? I in mean. the fact that you don't seem to want to admit that you might be able to be manipulated in all this because of your status here. You see, firstly, I mean, it's not that I've just recently got any fame. I mean, if I was to be manipulated...